Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming an updated what's in my bag video. Um, that was quite dramatic, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> and this is my Russian edition, my Russian school, school, university edition, should I say. So be aware there's quite a lot of university-based items in there. So in Russia, I've been using my Longchamp bag, which is definitely a great choice in experience so far. It's waterproof. It holds all my rubbish and the only thing I could ask more in it is a few more little compartments but it's still a great bag. So like I said I have not touched this bag in preparation for this video. This is just how it is so there might be some rubbish in there but hopefully not too much. Okay. <laughs> Such a mess. Okay. Let's start with the big pocket, so this is more of the boring stuff. So I don't know if you can see, it has one big pocket and one little pocket there at the front. Okay, first, a folder. If you can't read that, that says glagol, which means verbs in Russian. Fun times. Um, this is my diary that my friends Ali and Kiara bought me for my 20th birthday back in May in preparation for this year abroad. And it's just cute. I think it's from Dr. H. Smith. It just keeps me organised, basically. Um, then we have my puka pad. I'm really specific about paper. And at uni, I've just always loved this puka pad. I always get this. I like it that it tears the top, so I have less chance of failing when I tear it out. And yeah, and so for some reason, I bought one with me and I'm actually so glad I did because they don't seem to have many just like pads of paper here. It seems kind of hard to find so so I just have all my, my Russian goodness in there. There's my name in Russian if you feel you can decode it. Um, there should actually be another pile in there but I've obviously taken it out along the way. I hope that's not lost. Right sunglasses because even though it's winter it gets quite bright I feel like I'm on a tint apologies if I am um, and these are from ASOS I got them a while ago I'd say probably about a year ago they look like this I don't know if they fit my face or anything but I don't think many sunglasses fit my face so that's that really then we have my wallet my Mark Jacobs wallet with all my stuff in it. If you want to see some Russian money, here's, here's lots of money. 10 rubles, which is about 20p. Ooh. Then we have, getting down to the rubbish part now, some tissues. Some Orbit, I don't know what you call like a lozenge, but they're not even for like bad, they're just like sweets basically, Orbit sweets, like berry flavor. Hmm. Right. An umbrella. Just as in England, you should always carry an umbrella here. My pencil case. Small but very well equipped. So much rubbish in the bottom of this. Um, this has escaped the little pocket, but this is the Norwegian Formula Hand Cream Concentrated from Neutrogena. This is really nice. I actually picked this up at the till at Boots. It just caught my eye and I quite like it actually. Um, my camera, this is the Canon S95. It's a great little camera. Rubbish. It's actually really good to clear out your bag, this video. My headphones, these are from Philip. no. Philips, I think? I'm gonna say Philips. I can't remember. Um, but these are really good. These have lasted me for ages. <clears throat> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. Okay, this is a Travelo. What does you, what do you have in you? That has Chanel Chance in it. Very nice. EpiPen. I'm allergic to peanuts. I've never actually have to, had to use an EpiPen before, but I thought for my year abroad, especially in Russia, 
try to bring one with me. So I carry that round. Um, this is a little something I call my stacha purse. Stacha means change in Russian. So this is from H&M and this just has more change than you could ever want in it. And there's more in the bottom of my bag, so this will be a good opportunity to pick that up. Oh god, there's things flying everywhere. Yeah, that's just change at the bottom. Right. Oh no, there's one thing. Not very interesting. Yay. At restaurants in Russia, they give you mint gum instead of mints with the bill, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's because quite a lot of people smoke here, maybe. I don't know. Right, and then we have... Right. Now we get on to the little overflowing thing. Sorry, you can just hear change at the bottom of my bed. What do we have first? This is the Revlon lip stain thing. Sorry, it's rubbed off in number one honey, which is a great everyday colour and very moisturising. This is the L'Oreal splash stain thing, number one Lolita, which is like the glossy version of that, which is also very nice for everyday wear. This is my Dettol hand gel, trusty. Here are some Rennies. This is my Studentiski Billet, which is my student card. Woo. I'm not going to show you the picture because it's the most embarrassing thing ever. Because I had to take the picture after my first day here. I'd been crying all day because I didn't want to be here. It'd been raining all day. I didn't have any trace of makeup or skincare on at all. And it's just the most atrocious thing you've ever seen. So you're not allowed to see it. This just says my name and my date birth and where I go to university. It's not very interesting, but it gets me a few discounts. This is my phone. This is the iPhone 5 with a Kate Spade cover on it. And then we have my keychain. This has a Matryoshka doll, uh, which cost me two, no, it cost me one pound, which I thought was good. Uh, USB stick. This, this is a little screwdriver to do up my glasses with. Because I'm cool like that. Um, another splash stain in the colour Milady, which is the one I've got on today. Very nice for autumn. This is a card to top up my phone with, but I don't really know how to do it. <laughs> it's a business card. Oh, I've been looking for you. Spoolie. Nice, found it. Some hair, pins, a pen. Ooh, Burt's Bees, refreshing a lip balm, pink grapefruit. Love this, so amazing. A plaster, and some more rubbish. So, that, apart from all the change at the bottom, is my bag. Quite exciting. Not really, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you next time. Bye.